most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Today is a weather impact alert day. It's from now until 6 o'clock for dangerous heat yet again. Across Northeast Florida, we'll have heat index values reaching around 110 degrees. It's just another day with this dangerous heat. We've had several of them, so you know the drill by now. Stay hydrated, and if you have to be outside, make sure you're taking breaks in the shade or the AC. Now, this does only include Northeast Florida. Today's heat advisory, Southeast Georgia not included. We have a front that's trying to drape across our area and it will bring relief to Northeast Florida soon as well, but not yet. Temperatures outside right now sitting in the 90s for a lot of us across Southeast Georgia. Temperatures are in the 80s, but it feels hotter for a lot of us too with the humidity out there. Feels like temperatures heat index values are sitting in the triple digits. We don't have any rain on radar right now, but I will watch for the possibility of some showers and maybe an isolated storm or two to develop along the sea breeze later on today. So this afternoon, especially for eastern areas near the the beach. We'll watch out for some of those showers and storms, and then a few of those could linger into the evening as well. As for our high temperatures today, we're topping out near 94 degrees, and then the relief is on the way. That's 94 for the airport, by the way, and then I think tomorrow and Friday, we will be staying in the 80s. So on top of that, tomorrow it will be breezy, making it feel a bit more comfortable out there. And then on Friday, it will really have low humidity. I think the morning will be gorgeous. We can get up early on Friday with lows only in the lower 70s, low humidity. And then that afternoon, lots of sunshine, but highs only staying in the 80s. As for our low temperatures, that's where it will really feel good in the morning. Saturday morning as well, I'm also looking forward to temperatures on either side of 70 degrees. So Ernesto is actually helping us with this more comfortable weather because we have a front moving through, but it will also reinforce that dry air moving into our area on Friday. However, on Friday, even though it feels so good outside, a lot of you likely want to head to the beach, but be aware of getting in the water because Ernesto is also going to bring powerful surf and rip currents to our area on Friday, and those rip currents could last through the weekend as well. Speaking of the weekend, here's a look at your most accurate seven day forecast. Temperatures do warm back up into the 90s over the weekend. The humidity will surge back by Sunday, and it's more of a typical summer like pattern again to begin early next week.